experience. Yes. Before someone to make a decision to travel outside uh, the country yeah. for working, mm. you need to consider one, you mm. need to consider where you are working. Mm. First, to be straightforward with your agent. Because mm. mm. this agent, they mm. are after money. Mind mm. you, those visas, they are free. The mm. Arabs, they pay everything. Mm. But the agent tell you you need to have 150000 Mm, mm, That's $1,500 mm, so that you can get visa. But actually, the Arabs, who they have paid for everything. You see? Mm, they Second, only con the people. They con people. Yeah, yeah. Second, yeah. you need to know the company which you are going to work. Mm. Be assured it's the real company. It's mm. the real job which you, mm. the agent I told you, mm. you are going to work. You mm. need to be assured. And mm. you need to be sure by doing what? Mm. You Google the company. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And you try to communicate with them if there is your name before yeah, you go there. Before you go there, you yeah. just communicate, you confirm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead of waiting for visa to come to be given visa and the work permit, yeah, yeah. when you reach there, you are told you are doing labor. Uh -huh. And the agent here is telling you maybe you are going to do security. Uh -huh. When you reach there, it's labor. And you have paid already a lot of money you to him. You have already paid a lot of money and you've took the loan. Like mm -hmm. me right now, that yeah. guy is still... Uh, he still, uh, I still have his the money balance. Mm, mm. It's like fifty thousand. That guy now need me. I need to pay him fifty thousand. See, uh, mm, mm. so when I reached Doha, first I was heartbroken because I realized I was going to work as a cleaner, and mm. the salary it was not the same same salary told me. The mm. salary it was uh, three hundred dollar. Mm. Yeah. Instead of instead of three th or instead of one thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. So it means that is like the money you give to the agent here is like you share the uh, the your salary what you are going to earn there in Qatar. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, exactly. That's yeah. the point. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when I reached in Doha, when yeah. I realized I was going to work as a cleaner, mm -hmm. I didn't had any option. You see, I didn't have any option. Because you're already, already there. I'm there yeah. and yeah. I have responsibility. I have wife mm. and three children. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't have any option mm. but to continue doing the job. Mm -hmm. So I stayed there in the airport like six good hours waiting for someone to come and pick me. Mm -hmm. So the guy came and picked me. He took me to the accommodation. After yeah. that, tomorrow, mm. the next day, we went to the office. Mm. Now to the office, they explain me what the worker is going to do. That is the cleaning. Mm. Then uh, salary is three hundred dollar. Mm. Then working hours is twelve hours mm. Yeah. Mm. a day. A day. So which which uh, the cleaning where where you used to used to clean? I used to clean in a hotel. Okay. Hotel. The tourist hotel. Yeah, tourist hotel. Uh -huh. Yeah, in Doha. In Doha, yeah. In Doha Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, according to the life that I experienced there, mm -hmm. it was hard time, my friend. Because mm -hmm. uh, first, mm -hmm. you need to buy your own things, mm -hmm. utensils, mm -hmm. cooking uh, utensils, uh, cooker. You mm. see, you need mm. to buy your own stuff for cooking, you need to buy your own stuff for sleeping, blanket, mattress, you see. So they don't, they don't offer you the things for the sleeping, for the All, accommodation? What, what they offer, it's only accommodation. Mm. Apart from that, nothing less. Mm. So food, it, it is from yourself? In your own pocket. From that salary you are yeah, getting. When you get the salary, you yeah. buy your own food, yeah. your own utensils, your mm. own cooker for mm. cooking. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was such a different life that I was told with the agent in Kenya. Mm. You see? Mm. So I just uh, gave myself hope. Yeah. Then uh, I started working. Mm -hmm. uh, when I started working, yeah. it was on uh, May. Mm -hmm. I can recall it was on May. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't have cash of buying the food for the first month yeah, and yeah. the utensils. Mm -hmm. uh, you see? Mm -hmm. So I went back to the office. Yeah. I told them I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. I need food to eat. I need to eat so that I can work. Mm -hmm. I've come, you just help me a little amount. Mm -hmm. I sought myself. The mm -hmm. company mm -hmm. it refused. It told me you can borrow. 
cash from your friends, then at the end of the month, you refund the money. But the point is, yeah. there are people don't help each other. Everybody has his own issue. Everybody, when mm. you go, ah, really. So that month, I, mm. I was in a very bad situation. The first month when you, were, you was there. Yeah, that mm. first month. Mm. What I did, mm. I called mm. same same friend who helped me with the loan. Yeah, I yeah. explained to him. He told mm. me, I, I understand that that company is not good. Mm. They are good company, but uh, that company it's mm. not good. I told him, yeah. In fact, I was, uh, I was, I was doing. Uh, uh, it was me to do a driver, but I came to realize it's cleaning. You mm. see, mm. so life it's hard mm. here. Mm. The guy helped me. With, uh, it was uh, only hundred dollar. Hundred dollar. At so least you can buy some food, food for the days. Yeah, yeah for mm. the uh, at least mm. one month. Mm-hmm. You see, one hundred dollars is too a little because he has wife and children. He mm. complains, so he mm. had only one hundred dollars. He mm. sent me. Mm. I bought food. I didn't buy utensils. I need to borrow someone his cooker mm. and uh, utensils for mm. years mm. to cook. Mm. Mm. So that one month, yeah, I worked, and yeah. I was very very in a tight situation. Mm. Mm. What happened after that day? One month ended. Yeah. The company didn't pay me full salary. They say they have, they have come in the middle of a month, yeah. so they can't give me full salary. They give me only half salary, which is 600 Qatar Riyadh. Mm, mm, mm. So I manage myself mm. to buy stock of food, utensils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have anything to remain with. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, about the life there, in fact, it's so tight about the weather, mm. uh, working conditions, they're mm. bad, mm. the accommodation mm. very much dirty, mm. no cleanliness, mm. and uh, if you complain, mm. they tell you that's the, not their problem, mm. you just work, you just not come to sleep. Mm. So we mm. used to walk, walk up around four o'clock, by mm. five we were already in working, cleaning. Mm. Until seven in the evening. Evening. From five in the morning. Five in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Until evening. Seven. Mm, 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 mm. And uh, Arabs they have a very hard heart. This Arab people. Arab people. Mm, mm. In fact, we black people, yeah. Africans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They take us as like slaves. Mm, uh, mm. A small issue. Mm. Someone is spitting bad words for you, mm, mm. talking about uh, you are African, you don't know, uh, mm, uh, mm, sometimes mm. they abuse us, mm, calling mm. us monkeys. Yeah, yeah. You see? Uh, uh, very bad, very you bad, see? very bad. So, yeah. I need to, uh, I was humbled, mm, I did uh, work there, I got mm, my salary, like mm. uh, after six months I already adapted the environment. Mm, but there was so much hard time because mm. the company, mm. even to pay the salary on time, there was no paying the salary on time. We can stay like three months without salary. Mm. What they are telling us, you go to supermarket, you write mm. what you you take for it. Yeah. Then at the end of the month, when salary comes, you go and pay. Yeah, so yeah. when you get the salary, yeah, you yeah. pay the food, what, which, what, which you took. Yeah, yeah. Then you take another stroke for that month. Mm, so mm. when you calculate, there mm. is nothing left. Uh, yeah. So you only you, you are there, but you working for only survival. survival. Like again, yeah. like it, it's like the same like when you are country. Yeah. yeah. Same, same. Mm, mm. Same, same situation in Kenya. Same, yeah. same. Mm, mm, mm. So I didn't have any option but to be humble. Mm-hmm. and to work. And did you have maybe any time to save the money maybe there sometimes, sometimes any chance to save some money maybe? Okay, I can recall per month I was like saving like uh, $50, mm-hmm. you see? Yeah, yeah. And that $50 if I save, mm. I can't save it because I have my wife and my children, three children. Yeah, yeah. I send it back home. So yeah. mm-hmm. I was just working mm-hmm. for food only. And the Me family. and the family. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, my children are in primary school, mm, academy mm, school. Mm, mm, 
Yeah, but yeah. Uh, that salary it was not enough, so I need to sacrifice a lot. Sometimes I can mm. eat only one meal a day. Yeah. So that you can save the money. Yeah, because yeah. also food there it's expensive. Mm, yeah, mm, things mm, are expensive. Mm. Life is expensive. And maybe you can get maybe opportunity to look for another work while you are there, or it is or it it's is difficult. Very difficult. It's not possible because mm. uh, according to their law, yeah, when you come for a specific job. Yeah. You have signed the contract. You need to finish that contract, then you look for another job. Yeah. Then after that you need to go back to your home country to apply for another job. But uh, you can't change your job while you are there. Okay. That's the big issue with those people. So you mean those people if you get good good place maybe you, can, you cannot tell them that now I've got a nice place where it can help my life with my family, maybe I can go there and you look for another person who will take my, my place here. But me, I want to go there because there they can pay me good good money. They cannot allow you to they do that. They cannot allow you. What they will tell you, mm. finish us, you go back Kenya, then you, you apply that job through that another company. Mm. Because already your visa has been written a driver or cleaner. Mm. So if you want to change, mm. you need to go back. Yeah. And if you want to go back uh, immediately, yeah, yeah. they will not pay you your transportation back home. You will need to pay your own ticket yeah, yeah. They are to and uh, from then you apply. Mm-hmm. So that's the big problem uh, mm-hmm. in Qatar they have. You yeah. can't change your uh, job mm-hmm. anyhow. And the way you say these people, they are very bad, yeah? Maybe they, even this company, if they are good people and they like you, maybe they can say we can support you for that issue. We pay you the ticket to go back to your country and you come back quickly to work. They, they can. They cannot. They cannot. They cannot. They only they, they are just tell you you mm. need to pay for your own ticket. Then you apply your mm. job while you are there. But mm. if you finish the contract, mm. we pay you your ticket and the salary which we have a pay will pay you. Then you go back after you have finished contract. But if you haven't finished contract and you want to change the company, yeah, yeah. you need to go buy you. You need to to buy your own ticket. Uh, you see, very 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 hard time. Hard time. Hard so time. Yeah. while I was there, yeah, the little I have to mm. save and sacrifice mm. when I send it back home. Yeah, yeah, that money. Mm. I was telling them mm. at least to invest in something mm. that they will generate the income. Really, but really. my own family yeah. doesn't do that. When I tell them to do that, they say, yeah. okay, do. Mm. When I send the money, yeah. they don't do They do their own things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. It's too much pain for my brother. Really, it's really. It's too much pain for really, really. Well, then uh. I worked one year. Yeah. Then we were called in the office. Then yeah. the office told us, Mm. Now we are ending the, your contract. Mm-hmm. You need to go back because the uh, job is finished. Uh, and the, and your contract it was for how long two before years, you leave, you leave here? Two years. Mm, mm. And the law it says yeah. if the company doesn't, uh, if the company mm. uh, end your contract mm, mm. before it has finished, yeah, yeah. they need. To pay you to pay you for those two years, mm, mm, you mm, see. Mm. But that uh, company it mm. refused. Even mm. we wanted to go to court, yeah. But it was very hard for us because we need transport. Mm. You see, it's far. It's mm. like uh, twenty to thirty dollar. Yeah, that's transport going to go, uh, and uh, then thirty dollar to come back. That's uh, sixty dollar. It's uh, very far. And, uh, and each and every mm, like mm, after two weeks, fourteen mm, days, you need mm, to go to court. Mm, the, you haven't be paid your salary, uh, so it's hard to go to court. Mm, so what they told us, we will pay you the air ticket and mm, your salary. Yeah, yeah. You go and check another place for job. So it was very hard. Mm, so that one year. What I saved, actually, when yeah. I came back this year on May, yeah. actually I was heartbroken. Mm. I felt very bad. Mm. My savings, mm. there was no savings and I was saving money, you see? Through bank. Through bank. My yeah. own family used yeah. that money to do their own things. Uh, 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 my shit. wife, I was sending my wife yeah. money yeah, yeah. to take care of my children. Mm. My wife is spending my money with other men. 
oh, oh, when oh. I came, yeah, yeah. I realized she was positive. Mm. HIV positive. Mm. Because of the money you used to send to her. Yeah, you yeah. went and uh, do eat my money with other men. Mm, uh, mm, mm, very she, bad, very if bad. She doesn't take care of my children. Mm, Now mm, she is positive, HIV mm, positive. Uh, very bad. And even this yeah. saving, she was the one who took that saving. Yeah, and my family. I uh, and recall, your family also. I can recall every each and every month. Mm, my brother uh, needs this. My yeah. sister needs this. Mm, you see, mm, I need mm, to send. Mm, mm. But when I am telling them, mm. I need to do something to buy a motorcycle to do boda boda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or to open a small kiosk. Yeah, yeah, for them to work. For them to work, at yeah. least they generate something. Yeah, they yeah. didn't do that, my friend. Mm, you see? Mm, mm, mm. And my new life there in Qatar is so hard. People think that things are easy. Mm. Life is easy. The only you thing that you have, been, you have been on the plane to another you country, there you make a lot of money. Yeah, they see you are going yeah. to make a lot of money because you have gone, uh, mm. you, have, you have taken an aeroplane to mm. go to another country. They don't country. know the challenges they you are passing know the there. Challenges. Mm, mm, uh, mm, mm. We go for like two to three days without eating because you uh, don't have salary sometimes. Mm, mm, you are working for 12 good hours. If you see the salary, it's small. Yeah, mm, mm. the salary it can it's not enough. You personal, it's not you not, enough. You can't even buy clothes. Imagine. Mm, yeah. see, you I, just work, sleep. Mm. You just work. You are only sleeping for five good hours. Uh, In 24, remove how many hours? Five hours. Those are 18 mm, remaining. You mm, are working. Mm, yeah, mm, my friend. Yeah. Uh, hard time. Hard, hard time, time. Hard time. Now I'm here mm. in Kenya. Yeah. Those people who I was sending their money, now yeah. if I ask them, mm. I need some help. Like, uh, for example, right now my passport has expired. Yeah, yeah. I need to renew. Mm, mm. Yeah? I don't yeah. have cash. That cash which I was sending to help me to save, it was eaten. Mm, yeah? mm, mm, mm. Now if my friends, my family, I'm telling them, help me, yeah. I need to renew my passport. No yeah. one is helping me. Everyone is saying, you, you went to Qatar, mm. you have money. Uh, Which uh, money? I don't have any money. Because so you, so you mean you trust them? You have given them I your pin them. number for the yeah, bank. For the yeah. bank. When uh. I deposit my cash, yeah, yeah. I tell my mom. I yeah. tell mom. Mm. I've deposited some amount in car in my account. Mm. Go and confirm. Mm. So, so the pin number you have go, given her. Okay. Yeah. When uh. my mom goes, uh. to confirm me. Yeah. So my mom and dad separated. So uh. I know I was I normally. Cut on my mom mm, mm. with some little cash yeah, yeah. to sustain himself. Mm, like mm. I was paying her rent, yeah, yeah, you see? Yeah. Mm, paying her rent and yeah. food, mm, mm. you see. Because yeah. they divorced with my dad 12 years ago. That that was uh, like, uh, uh, not 12 years ago, it was 2012. Right now it's like, uh, uh, like, uh, 10 years, 10 years, years, yeah, 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 yeah. 12 years, yeah, yeah, 12 years really, really, really. So, people here in Kenya think that if you go outside mm. the country, mm. you are good. But things are different, my friend, things mm. are different. Mm. Mm. And uh, the point which I want to make through my experience, because yeah. right now, yeah, yeah, I'm suffering a lot. Mm. The, my wife is HIV positive. Yeah, yeah. Children, they need to learn. Yeah, yeah. They don't have that cash. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. the saving they have written. Mm -hmm. My dad, they, they separated with my mom. My dad always say, if you, you are with your mom, yeah. don't ask me anything. Uh -uh. Here in Kenya, no yeah. job. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I need to renew my passport. Yeah. So much corruption in immigration. Mm. I need to have like 20,000 to renew my passport. That's why I had, I have seen on yeah. the news three days ago the anti-corruption. They have sucked up a lot of people and the immigration. Yeah, also. I saw also in the news. Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm. it mm. was like three days ago. Yeah, they have been fired been a lot fired. of people because of corruption yeah, people there. they are protesting mm. in the migration office mm. because mm. people, they are applying for passport. Passport, mm. they are not coming. Mm, too much mm, corruption. If mm, you have money, you'll get your passport. If you don't have, you just tell you, wait, wait. And you have already paid the actual eh, amount, the mm, 3,500. Mm, but they tell you, wait, wait, office, too much delay, too much mm, delay. Mm, but passport, they are there in the office. What they want, you just give them... Something small. Something small. Yeah, And yeah. that something small is 20,000. Mm, 
Mm. For me, it's not small. That really? Ah, it's a lot of money. How can I get? I don't have a mm. job right mm. now. Nobody's mm. uh, hearing me. Mm. Mm. Really, yeah. really, really. And mind you, I need to, uh, for me personally, because mm. I have three children, mm. I need to work. Really, really. For these two to three months I've stayed here in Kenya, I mm. find I've, it's very difficult to find a job. So you mean the, during the World Cup you was in Qatar there? I was in Qatar. So did you, any any club, any national team have came to the hotel used to work? Yeah, yeah, there was some players, uh, actually Samuel Eto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there, Samuel Eto, you were with him, even yeah. I took pic- picture of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Samuel mm. Eto, there was mm. this, another star called uh, uh, from Cameroon. Mm. I forgot his name. Mm. But the players, we, the hotel which I was working, mm. they are coming, they, they booked some rooms, some players. Okay, some players, booked, uh, okay. Easy like a talk. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But it's hard to, to communicate with them, maybe no to help time. you with the something, no, no time. time. No time. Yeah. You, if you go there, mm. the first day you mm. rest, second mm. day you go to work, mm. you just work. No off, mind you. Uh, until you come back to Kenya. Until you come back to Kenya. You see, uh, my friend? I see, I see. When you send people money, they mm. think you are getting that money in an easy way. Mm. You are sweet. There, the weather is very bad. Mm. You see, sun, it's 45 degrees. Mm, mm, mm. Really, brothers. People, they are falling down mm, because mm. it's too hot. Too hot, really. Too hot. Really. So what can you tell the people who are thinking to go there and the people who are waiting for their brother who are there or are thinking the thing is easy? What can you tell them at the end of our interview now? Okay. For me, personally, what I experienced. Yes. Before someone to make a decision to travel outside uh, the country yeah. for working, mm. you need to consider one, you mm. need to consider where you are working. Mm. First, to be straightforward with your agent. Because mm. mm. this agent, they mm. are after money. Mind mm. you, those visas, they are free. The mm. Arabs, they pay everything. Mm. But the agent tell you you need to have 150000 Mm, mm, That's $1,500 mm. so that you can get visa. But actually, the Arabs, who mm. they have paid for everything. You see? Mm. They Second, only con the people. They con people. Yeah, yeah. Second, yeah. you need to know the company which you are going to work. Mm. Be assured it's the real company. It's mm. the real job which you, mm. the agent I told you, mm. you are going to work. You mm. need to be assured. And mm. you need to be sure by doing what? Mm. You Google the company. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And you try to communicate with them if there is your name before yeah, you go there. Before you go there, you yeah. just communicate, you confirm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instead of waiting for visa to come to be given visa and the work permit, yeah, yeah. when you reach there, you are told you are doing labor. Mm. And the agent here is telling you maybe you are going to do security. Mm. When you reach there, it's labor. And you have paid already a lot of money you to him. You have already paid a lot of money and you've took the loan. Like mm. me right now, that yeah. guy is still... Uh, he still, uh, I still have his the money balance. Mm, mm. It's like fifty thousand. That guy now need me. I need to pay him fifty thousand. See, because uh, he gave me one hundred and fifty, and he told me there is a percentage that I need mm. to top up, to top which up, is yeah. one hundred and eighty. Uh. So I've pay, I've already paid one hundred and thirty. Now remain fifty. Mm. You see now, uh, yeah. instead of. Uh, yeah, uh, getting some fruit through that job. Yeah, yeah. Now you are perishing. Huh? Ah, it's very bad. It's Still very... now I'm paying that mm. loan which I took last year, mm. the completion, and mm. it's free. Imagine. Mm. Yeah, it's very, very much paid. Mm. Even yeah. sometimes you can think maybe the better this loan I was taking, maybe I could open a business a in business Kenya in yeah, and Kenya, do something yeah. than ah. go there to Qatar. Yeah, or I buy tuk tuk. Mm. Mm. do tuk tuk. Yeah. Mm. 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 It's better than that. But if mm. you want to travel, my friend, first consider the job which you're going to work. Be assured of it. It's the same, same job that the agent is telling you. Yeah, yeah. Second, mm. be serious with your money. Mm. By saying this, I'm saying when mm. you are paying the agent mm. that commission, mm. don't uh, trust the agent 100%. Mm. I had uh, my friend of mine, he paid mm. the agent uh, the commission 100 Mm. After that, the agent went to exile. See, yeah, you see, they are not trustworthy. Mm, mm. Con man, too They're much con, con man. Too much con man. And they yeah. don't say the truth. Mm. And uh, third, mm. in Arab countries, mm. first, 
Mm. It's very hard to get help. Mm. Because people they know you are working. Mm. Yeah? Mm. So getting help yeah. is very hard. Mm. So when you go there, mm. save your money on your own. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Don't like, trust anyone. Like the way you have seen, they, even they your have mom, seen, yeah, the even, saving you have saved that it yeah. could help you. She have take all yeah. the money. Yeah. yeah. Someone is there. He had already a phone. He had a big, big phone because you are there. Now he knows you are getting salary. He wants a new big phone. Mm. And you don't know even the money you get. You cannot afford that phone she wants. Yeah. yeah. I need to save like two to three months to get mm. that phone. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Even you are going without salary for three months, someone doesn't know that. Yeah. People think that you, you are just getting his salary, you are mm. working good, you are mm. sleeping good. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. There you cook your own, you buy your own food, yeah, yeah. you buy your own bed sheet, you mm. buy your own utensils. Ah, yeah. It's very, very it's hard. It's very right hard. There. So, yeah. you can, what you can finish to the people that no, are our audience? Yeah. Yeah. My conclusion, first and foremost, mm. the government must deal with this corruption in immigration. Mm -hmm. Secondly, mm -hmm. when you are going to Arab country, yeah. be very much careful with this con man people. Mm. Agent their con man. Yeah. Yeah? Before mm. you travel, yeah. check that company, confirm mm. your salary. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. and know what the two to three things you mm. need to mm. survive there. Really? Yeah. Really. Because life is different. So you have you to plan your twelve good hours. Mm. So you have to plan yourself before you go there. Yeah, you need to plan mm. yourself before mm. you go there. Don't mm. be overjoyed. Mm. You are going in other country. Yeah, mm. you are happy. You are. Things are different. The, mm. What you expect is not what is uh, happening. It's there. happening there. Yeah. So you hear, guys, this is what is reality, what is happening in the Arab country, yeah. how they make our brother suffering. Yeah. So yourself, if you have got good money, it's better to invest in your country, in your country. and to look what you can do better than to yeah. give a lot of money to the agent that you think. Don't be happy to go to on the airplane and think that the life is going to change. No. Anywhere you can change your life and you can live good life as yeah. long as you are hard working and you are, you are focused yeah. for what you are doing. Yeah. Then to go to other countries, somebody use you for their own benefit and the benefit of the agent who are just sitting here in the office and eat a lot of money for the other people. Then they become rich and the people who are going to work, they will be always suffering and they are the one who make them to become rich. That is not good. This is Radio Bumbululu. If you watch the video, just like and subscribe. We are talking about the real issue, what is happening to the people in this world and what's happening in our country here. You are welcome. Subscribe and like.